Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for this video. This is going to be another one of those kind of top favorites videos. I've done several of these before where I pick my very favorite items from a particular brand and you can probably check back and see what those are, but I've done like top fives, top tens, and um, I wanted to do sort of a top favorites from the NYC brand, New York Color. It's available usually at like Walmart stores, for example, and other drug stores too, I'm sure. Um, but I also wanted to point out my least favorites because I've kind of been asked that you know you're telling us your favorites but what about the things you don't like because I feel like almost every brand you know has even when they have some great products there are some duds too and I really feel that way about this particular brand so while I've got more things I think that I found that I like than what I don't like at least from what I've tried so far um, I want to tell you about both of them I've got ten things in my like list and five things on my do not like list so um, these won't really be any in any particular order, like I'm not ranking them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'm just going to go through first 10 and then the ones I don't like. Uh, okay, so the first thing I'll talk about is um, a matte bronzing powder that they have. It's called a Smooth Skin bronzing powder if you can see that there um, and this they have I think just one color that it's in and it's um, in sunny so this is a matte bronzer that you get and matte bronzers can be kind of hard to come by especially if you're in the drugstore I feel like so many things have shimmer added to them and a lot of us don't necessarily want that I have um, this matte bronzer dusted on um, I used it on my face this morning when I was getting ready for work and just it's just nice to use with like a big fluffy kabuki brush just swirl it in there dust it all over because with matte bronzers you can contour with these a much in a much more natural way contour the cheeks a little bit and just for that all over dusting of color it kind of just lays down that you know natural look so you're not layering you know a shimmery bronzer with a shimmery highlighter and blush and all that so matte bronzer is definitely a good thing to have in your collection and I have recommended this to a lot of people who say you know I can't afford to spend a lot um, but you know I want to get something that's good quality so um, that's the deal with a lot of these products that are my favorites from NYC because they are very very affordable like this is not gonna probably cost you more than three dollars so that's a great deal there uh, another thing I like a lot, another face product here, is the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. Um, the shade I have here is 742A. It's naturally beige. I think they might have a translucent powder, but um, this is a really nice... Ooh, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that little puff of powder come up there, but this is a really nice face powder, and loose powder is such an economical choice. I mean, you get so much. It's usually not very expensive. Um, this does not have shimmer in it either. This is not a mineral mineral powder. I want to make that clear. This is a loose face powder. I tend to use some sort of loose powder to set my makeup. Um, another one that I really, really like is the Mary Kay loose powder, but if you're looking for something, again, that you can just find in the drugstore, pick up real quick. Uh, the NYC Smooth Skin Loose loose face powder is a nice way to set your liquid makeup and uh, keep it lasting a little bit throughout the day. I like their eyeshadows that are the color wheel mosaic eyeshadows. This one is in Brown Eyed Girl and you can see what you're working with there. You've got kind of a variation in finishes. You've got a couple of sort of maybe just satiny finish like browns. Like these two are the same, these two are the same, and then you've got two others. So uh, certain ones you have more of than others, but like this shade is just kind of a shimmery um, kind of peachy tone. You've got the brown. You've got this gorgeous like um, reddish brown here, kind of a rust color, and then a nice highlight in the middle. And these are super, super soft. Like, you just pat your finger in there, and it's a surprising amount of color that you get off there. That's that really pretty, kind of rusty color. And then you got this, it's kind of like that champagne shade. A pretty brown you know these are surprisingly nice quality and such a cute little package too you get it all there just like that and they have um, I know they got a set of purples they've got some with like a turquoise blue mixed in with some browns and possibly silver or something like that so but this one just really caught my eye and I think it probably I don't have any of the others but this is just my favorite color collection that they've put together for a nice neutral look so they're very inexpensive again all these products are very very uh, affordable. 
um, another eye product that I like that I just recently started trying and I have used this for two weeks now. I ran out of my Revlon Color State liquid liner, the kind that looks like a little inkwell and you stick the um, applicator down in there and, and um, you know, I love that. I think it lasts so awesome. It's like my holy grail liquid liner, but I kind of felt like, okay, I've run out of this. I sort of want to test something out because I like to keep you guys updated, you know, on what I think's good and stuff. And for about four or five dollars less, I got the NYC liquid eyeliner. And I was so surprised with this. I had actually gotten a magazine. It was one of those, you know, those hair magazines where they show different styles with like sophisticated hair magazine and I'd never gotten one of those before but one day I just picked one up and I noticed they had a lot of makeup suggestions like different recommendations for different looks and some of like the stars favorite items and this was Megan Fox's favorite eyeliner and I thought hmm NYC really and so I just had to try it out this is like under two dollars and I love the fact that it's it's got a nice nice skinny skinny little brush there um, I like the long handle I almost feel like it's yeah I don't know just a little bit easier it just glides along so quickly I've got that on as my liner today um, it lasts as far as I can tell this has lasted me as well as the color stay um, it doesn't take like a long time to dry. I'm trying to think of annoying things that have happened to me with liquid liner. It doesn't come off with like a shiny or metallic finish. You know, it just looks straight up black and that's the color color I have is jet black. I think there might have been a brown too. Um, but it, yeah, it goes on completely black, does not take a long time to dry. Um, I just can't find anything wrong with this and it's so, so cheap. So this is probably the cheapest liquid eyeliner that I've liked the best. It's from NYC again. Duh, that's what I've been talking about the whole time, but it's really, really good. All right, my last six favorite products are all lip products. I, as a whole, really enjoy the NYC lip products, so I'm just going to take you through them one by one here really quickly. I kind of got to speed this up to get through everything, but um, here's one that I really like. It's the um, NYC Liquid Lip Shine in number 554A, and I believe this is called Sun Gold Pink and this is the color it is it's kind of it's very multi-dimensional it can look pink and also very gold it's what I'm wearing on my lips right now it has a really nice texture to it I'm not super wild about the scent the scent is a little strong and it's not like necessarily bad I don't know almost like a little bit of a florally scent to it and I'm not wild about that kind of smell in my lip gloss but I can deal with it because I really like the texture not too slippery, not too sticky, um, but gives really great color and great pigmentation on the lips. So this is a really, really nice gloss there. Um, another product that I like that I just um, recently tried out was their Smooch Proof Long Wearing Lip Color. And the shade I have is 483, and I believe it's called Rebel. Um, I hate how, that's the one thing I don't like is how sometimes the shade name isn't on there. But this is like kind of a medium, um, kind of mauve pink. It's got a little bit of shimmer to that shade. But um, yeah, it's really nice. This, this feels very light on your lips. It's maybe just a step up from a stain in that a stain feels super light on your lips and this feels really light too um, and it lasts I mean this lasted me through a whole part of my day the other day um, I just haven't had issues really with the staying power on this. I think it's great. Um, this basically what you do is you put on this and then you let that get dry and then you put on the um, gloss clear gloss coat the strange thing about this for me is that this smells kind of sweet and sort of like vanilla y this the color side but the gloss you put on over the top that you might want to keep reapplying doesn't really have that same sort of scent so um, I have tried some long wearing things that I think might have lasted a little longer but this is for the feel that it gives on your lips, not feeling like that much is on there, I think it's really good. Another lip product I like are these little tins that they have. These remind me a lot of the e.l.f. candy shop lip tins, but some people, you know, either can't find those in stores, which a lot of people can't, and or you don't want to make an online order. So this is something you might be able to find in your local Walmart. And this shade that I have is called Sugar Kiss. It's a light pink. Um, it smells like cotton candy. That's what, oops, oh geez, I dropped it. Oops. 
Sorry, guys. All right, it's okay. <laughs> it fell on the right side. But, um, yeah, it's just a really pretty pink. has a very sugary cotton candy, great scent, and it does give you, like, a light pink tint to your lips. The next thing that I have is one kind of product, but I have it in three different shade suggestions for you, and it is the um, Ultra Moist Lip Wear. And it's basically this kind of lipstick they have that looks kind of like a bullet. Um, it's got sort of the rounded cap on there. And these are really good. I really like these lipsticks. I think they're, you know, give you nice bold color. You just kind of need to know what shades to get. And for a really nice shade of red that's sort of like a slightly deeper red, um, I like this shade, which is called Sheer Red. Um, yeah, this is a very, very nice shade of red, I feel like. If I swatched it for you on my hand here, that's sort of the shade. Um, it's not the loudest red I've ever used, but like I said, it's sheer red. It's not, I mean, it's it's a very, very wearable red if you wanted to get into that sort of for maybe like a work look or something. Then they have retro red, which I like as well. This one, you're going to see it right beh beside sheer red. And this is a little bit, just a little bit thicker. It's right below, a little bit brighter. Um, I think this, I think Retro Red maybe has a slightly more orange undertone in it, whereas Sheer Red has more that bluish undertone you've heard people talk about, although you clearly wouldn't see blue. It's the undertone that the shade has. So um, those are two good red shades, though. And then on the other end of the spectrum, a nice light uh, shade. This is a light pink. It's called Chiffon. I'll swatch that up above. Hopefully you can see it. Maybe not. Um, it's it's just a really pretty light sheer pink. It's going to look like, you know, just a nice light pink. There, maybe you can see it. A, a nice light pink frosty glaze on your lips. It sh it's very sheer, um, but I just like it a lot. And these are cheap, too. These are like less than two bucks for those lipsticks. Now time to move on to the products I'm not quite so fond of from NYC. The first one is the Maximum Boost Volumizing Mascara. Cute, cute packaging, but my goodness, this did nothing for my lashes, guys. Uh, you get a pretty big brush. It just The brush is like a spiral type. It spirals all the way around the wand. Um, I just didn't like it. It didn't do anything for my eyelashes. Did not build them up. Was not buildable. Um, the formula is a little wet. Uh, it's just, I don't know. This this was just what did really nothing for me. I was expecting more Maximum Boost Volumizing Mascara. Really not so good. You can find a lot of drugstore mascaras that are better than that. Um, if you're looking for some quick suggestions, I just predicted that as being a question. Someone would, would ask me L'Oreal Hip Mascara, CoverGirl Fantastic Lash, um, the uh, Alme Triple Effect Mascara, there's a few uh, drugstore options for you. Next thing I don't really like, the NYC cover stick in green. <laughs> yeah, this would be the type of thing you would get. The concept behind green concealer is that it would neutralize reds. And I got this, and honestly, even when I would blend it out, all it looked like was that I had put a green makeup of some sort. Like, I used it for the like broken capillaries on my nose, and it's just, like, if I rubbed it on my hand here. You probably can't really see, but I, it just continues to have a green appearance, and I just, it wasn't really blending in well enough to truly function as one of those color correcting things. Another product I don't like is the Cheek Glow Powder Blush in Central Park Pink. This, uh, it's very light, so I couldn't really expect this to, you know, give me wild color on my cheeks, but I found it to be very chalky, I found that it didn't show up hardly at all. I just, I don't know. I love CoverGirl Cheekers. That's what, that would be a great drugstore option. This, I just, it, it really did nothing but really um, make my complexion look a little more bland. I didn't really like that. And then this other thing that I don't so much like, I think I featured it a long time ago in like a haul video. And I don't know that I ever really got back to you about what I thought, but it's this uh, Metro Quartet in Best of Broadway. These are sort of the newer shadows they've come out with, and I just don't think they're very well pigmented at all. I don't know. I just, I find the, them to be like a, a little bit chalky. 
even this this pretty shimmery shade here like I don't know it doesn't show up that great these aren't the worst in the world but really if you had your choice I'm sort of just showing this more as a contrast between this and the one I talked about earlier, the Mosaic, this is such a much softer, more pigmented formulation than these are. So that's just my comparison. But then again, you know, you don't necessarily get like all the blacks. I'm not, sh I don't recall if there's like a shade of these that has blacks in it, but this does try to have black, but I don't know. It's just not quite that bold. And so I don't know. Just my opinions on this stuff, guys, but I wanted to pass all that along to you. Lots of information in this video, I realize, but I just thought it would be more helpful to you to get both ends of the spectrum, not just what's the best, but the things that I haven't liked so much either. So thank you very much for tuning in for this video and taking the time to watch it, and have a great day.